Welcome everyone to what's probably the final part of Spice Moraine, where we are now doing the Prince of Demons Part Five, which I do believe, oh, that was not which I do believe is the final chapter of the entire game. So that should be interesting. We'll see how I fare. We have to get to the Orbital Spire first. At least get close enough. You can see in a lot of areas ahead we're probably going to be fighting. So yeah, final part of Space Marine. And uh, a lot of things have actually happened in my real life while this has been going on. Like, I've got a new internship, so uh, my upload schedule might change a little bit. I won't have as much time to, oh well, spirit to uh, record stuff, depending on how long my work hours end up being. I'm also trying to figure that kind of stuff out, and if I can stay as well once uh, the weeks are up. Do I want a Storm Boulder? You know what, sure. They'll use a storm boulder. Moving through the Forge world. Boy, this looks like some kind of refinery. Oh, and I see traders. Just lots of heretics. Okay, they're introducing possession, where a demon can just move into the real world through a heretic. Okay, and they just, they dodge the storm boulder very liberally. But that's just just a normal boulder against the blood bursters, by the looks of it. Oh, not blood bursters, blood letters. That's what they're called. Blood bursters is the, are the big demons of corn. Oh. Can never psych it. That's a grenade. The heretics do like to like to use those grenades. Everyone else them taken out. Another one. And we also have some trader marines now. We need to take out the Psyker. There we go, Psyker dealt with. So now we can focus on the Trader Marines. That's one Marine done. That's gonna be both Marines down. I think we got that Iron Halo. That's really helping our survivability here. Oh, we... It may be severed, but it's still the enemy's strong point. The fleet is preparing an all out assault. Their attack will not be enough to stop the forces of chaos. Okay, lots of blood letters. There we go. We are gonna keep moving forwards here. Okay, I see lots of dead guards around. 
Looks like they had some fighting going on here too. Get the axe. I think we'll swap to a stalker boulder. For a bit. I do like the stalker boulder a lot. Oh, that's a uh, last cannon. I hit the wall. Okay, we also got some heretics down there. I guess we'll just do uh, crack and bolts. And that's an actual trade of a ring. Not a hammer or anything. Oh, that's an aspiring champion. And let's take on that aspiring champion. That's how you do it. As we keep moving through the ruins of the Forge world. Kill the traitors. Show them no mercy. And that's it, prepared a sandbag position there. Cute. Very cute. I think I'll stick with the Stalker. At least for now. No Power Sword though. Oh, that's a lot of Havocs. And bloodless. Wow, how they just sip around. Wow. Yeah, that's why demons are terrifying. We need to deal with those Havocs. And more Bloodless, okay. Now the Havocs. One havoc. I'm going to eat ammunition. But is there any ammo around here? Certainly doesn't look like it so far. Oh wait, that's ammo. Oh yeah, I definitely need some more, more bolts. Through him. Him. Why am I saying him to a demon? Because I'm pretty sure demons technically don't have genders. Let's take out this Chaos Marine. Oh shit, more bloodless. Well, 
little help. There we go. Oh, look at all. Oh my god, they've just slaughtered the guardsmen. They've actually piled them up in, in piles and burning them. Yeah, the guardsmen are not having an easy time today. Oh, we got a heavy boulder. I like the weapons I have at the moment. So we'll just keep that. We'll just grab some more ammo when we can find it. Of course, we can have sprint with a heavy bolt, huh? Oh, I do not like the looks of that. I think we killed most of them. You never know, there might be more. Yep, portal over. That's a psycho. What's a psycho? Those heavy boulders are pretty ridiculous. That's all the demons. Okay. We'll keep moving forwards. Oh, this looks like an arena of some sort. Also, it's lagging a bit. I guess it's loading stuff in. I guess it's not an arena? I guess not. Ah, Bobby, throw, throw away the heavy boulder. Oh, we can pick it back, back, back up, though. Okay. Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Captain Titus, on the whole glance of Jove is in your disposal, Captain. I must reach the orbital spire. Tell your pilot to make his approach. Yes, sir. Right, so we're soon gonna be at the end game. We're gonna take a Thunderhawk straight to the orbital spire. Almost the spire's still fairly far away. Oh, there's a firefight down there. Oh, those are Loyalist Marines! Blood Raven, Squad Corpus reporting in, Captain Titus. We joined the Liberation Fleet at Bacca, along with a squad of Black Templars. Unleash the fury you showed in the Aurelian Crusade, and we will be glad to have even a few Blood Ravens with it. You may rely on that, Captain. Then join the forces driving into the deep post, and stop any enemies trying to follow me up the end of this fight. Oh, that's cute. If you don't know who the Blood Ravens are, they're essentially the kind of homebrew chapter that's now canon that um, Relic made for the Dawn of War series. And then I see them showing up here, that, that's kind of cute. That's like a good homage. Because uh, Relic also made this game. So it's cool to see the Blood Ravens. I like the Blood Ravens, to be honest. They're cool. I like that color scheme. We have a long firefight here, but at least we have allies. We have lots of friendly marines. Keep advancing! Forward space marines! Oh, that's uh, psychic bottles. And blood that is incoming. Let's save our brothers over here. Give me a psychus.
Pick up blood letter. There we go. Give another psycho. This is a, this is a cool set piece, not gonna lie. Like you advancing up a bridge with all the marines. This is really cool. I like this. And we got Ultra Marines coming in with Drop Pod now. There they come. And now we have more reinforcements. This is just so cool. I need to take some cover. Use the auto can on the light drone. There we go. Ah, just so many marines here. This is so cool. <laughs> and off we go to the Orbital Spire. I just thought it was cool to see the Blood Ravens. Yes, I really like the Blood Ravens. Let's finish this. I will hold here as long as I can, Captain. No, brother. Rejoin our forces and bring fury to the enemy. This battle is mine. Yes, sir. Wow, there's a lot of Chaos Forces in the Rune Orbital Spire. That wouldn't make sense. But the heretics won't stand a chance. You hurt. There we go, pull off. Yeah, the baseline humans they're using do not stand a chance. This madness will not stop me, and neither will you. A psyker, they have a psyker. We teleport some round. That's gonna make things a little bit more difficult.
That's the psycho. Oh, that's how you do it. This is basically just like a final gone, but it feels like. As we work our way up the spire. They tried to say something, but I killed too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> that actually hurt. Okay. Are we fully healed again? We might not really see many demons though, only really the um, blood letters and the blight drones. I guess it just focus more on the uh, heretical elements rather than the uh, demons. That was well timed, not gonna lie. <laughs> I love this jetpack and thunder hammer combo. Ah, oh, no more jump pack, okay. I guess that's how to justify that you don't have it anymore. But because of a thunder hammer, I don't have my other ranged weapons. Okay. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna keep the thunder hammer, I think. Because I feel it's almost thematic here for the end. There was more bold rounds, though. Oh, wait, it's like a blight drone. Okay. Although clearly we can handle the blight drone just with a bolter. Oh, oh, it's an auto recording. I don't actually um, know if I have all of those, but uh, you can find them around the game and they give you a little bit of background lore, I think. We're not gonna listen to them in this playthrough. If you want to know them, you should probably play the game yourself. I think it gives you a little bit more of a uh, civilian's view on the whole thing. Which is actually pretty dark sometimes, because, uh, yeah, the civilians in 40k are uh, pretty horrible lives. Just humans in general, do. It's a pretty damn horrible universe to live in. And uh, this is where it would be nice to have auto weapons. Or at least a jump pack again. Hello! Oh! Now we need to get rid of these blood letters. I need to get close to these heretics. I need to get some help back. Wait a bit, get our iron hail of working. And let's get close. There we go, full help. We have a psycho. The psycho is going to be the problem. The 
I'm not sure that really worked really work for me. Come on, Iron Halo. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now I can focus on the traders. I should not have done that. Success is measured in blood. Yours or your enemies. I should just have rushed forwards at them. Ugh. That was not good of mine. Let's try it again. The problem is that Psyka. In fact, we don't have a lot of ammo. Psycho hurts. We find Halo. Psychics can be so dangerous. This is a giant lift. Is this going to take us up to the tip of the orbital spire? It's very close to it. I'm also surprised the power is still on after it got severed, but I guess uh, chaotic energies can do stuff like that. Or just this backup generators up here, I don't know. But this certainly looks very chaotic. I think we're reaching the end here. There is much blood on my hand. For all those who were killed. For Sedonus, and for the Emperor. I will finish this. I will send you to them. And it is Titus. The power of chaos is within you. Calling to this relic. Imagine the ultimate dominating this galaxy in glorious. 
As a slave to chaos, nothing you say can tempt me from the path of honor, or from avenging the deaths of my battle brothers. You are no threat to me now, Ultramarine! There we go. Please! Just another hit! There we go, knights! Man, a lot of the dangerous when there's a lot of them. Holy shit. Okay. And then one more. Okay. Your pathetic Imperial forces will be scoured clean. Double Gaspar champion! Come on, heretic! Come on! Your task is hopeless, Titan. I have the will of the Dark Gods behind me. But you... you have no one. And you will die here. matters little. I am unassailable. The gods of chaos protect me with the very energies of creation. You forget, Nemeroth. I am no stranger to the touch of the warp.
Yeah, this is how they did the final thing, which I think a lot of people were not that pleased with. Basically making it a quick time event. But I think it's okay. Like, it's not too bad. It's very cinematic, or at least it attempts to be. Just keep doing it. As we're trying to build up enough fury to do another F, I think. And you cry is dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think he's already, yeah, he's yeah, he saw the demon prince. So uh, I don't think we actually kill him. I see the Ultramarines are human. After all, more than you know, Lieutenant. His injuries appear chaos inflicted. You are certain of this charge? Captain Titus has been corrupted by chaos, Inquisitor Thrax. I am no heretic. You lie! Only an agent of chaos could withstand such warp exposure. I sent the demon to oblivion. But did you have unholy assistance? We must know. You will submit to my authority, Captain, or the Inquisition must conclude that you have corrupted every Ultramarine under your command, not to mention those who stand at your side. Ignore his threats. Come on. The Inquisition destroy you, Mira, and the Ultramarines will be forever dishonored. Leave my brothers and the Lieutenant alone. I will come with you. I do not know why I can resist the touch of chaos, but I swear I will discover the truth. We will discover many truths, Space Marine. Codex Astartes leaves no room for doubt. You cannot touch the warp and emerge unscathed. The Codex Astartes is a set of rules. They guide us, shape us as ultramarines, teach us to hold duty and honor, sacred above all. But how we live with those rules is the true test of a space marine. And you have failed.
Well, that was Space Marine. And Space Marine 2 should be happening soon, so I'm highly excited for that. I assume we'll have some credits. Yes. And of course, I'll let the credits roll as always. I can still feel it was a little bit of an older game at this point, especially that ending with it being a um, basically a quick time event type of it sort of deal, but I quite liked Space Marine. Back in the day I actually played it a lot, I even played the multiplayer a lot. But now I'm through with the campaign completely again. I can say it, it's still pretty good. It holds up in capturing the essence of being a Space Marine quite well. But I'm excited to see what they do to improve the formula in Space Marine 2, even though it will not be the same uh, company making it. This was obviously made by Relic Entertainment, who is most known for their Dawn of War games and the Comedy of Heroes games. Space Marine 2, I believe, is being developed by Focus Interactive. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But I like Space Marine. This was a good game to play through again. I hope you all had enjoyed watching it too, relieving some memories, or if you didn't know about Space Marine, just having a fun time having being on the ride with me. Obviously, this was not blind, as I said, I played this a lot. But Space Marine 2 will be completely blind for me, so I hope I will not disappoint when we get to that. In the background, you can just see Captain Titus killing orcs. The multiplayer for Space Marine also had a really good uh, customization thing, actually. Where you can customize how your Space Marine and your Chaos Marine looked for the multiplayer, which was really cool. The people could really customize a lot. I don't really have much to say at this point, unfortunately. I just had a lot of good time, and... It was good to relive these memories again. I just hope my free upload schedule will not be um, too skewed because I have an internship now, which could develop into a job, but it would be good for me to get a job fully, you know? But I'll figure out what to do when we get to that point. I hope everyone who worked in this game had a, had a lot of uh, good time with it. Generally, I imagine working on a 40k game is a lot of fun if you're a big fan of 40k. Or just in Warhammer in general. Because the games are, you know, pretty big. Well, the setting is pretty big at scale. The games aren't always big, but sometimes the games are a little bit lackluster, as I understand, because not all uh, licensing is done in, in that well of a good light, I think. Some developers just get the license really easily, because I believe Warhammer has a tendency to give out the license very... very lightly? If that's the correct wording? I hope the uh, main menu sequence or stuff like that, because this is actually the background you see on the main menu, with this uh, loot going on. I really hope they do something similar for Space Marine too.
That's a lot of production babies, not gonna lie. Of course, they also had to credit the workshop. Because it is a licensing thing. Because obviously Relic does not own Warhammer 40k, Games Workshop does. Mark Strong was Titus. I believe many of these are from the audio logs, as you see here. Of course, that's Antioch. I get to feel the people who voice the orcs had a lot of fun. Generally, I believe voicing the greenskins must be a lot of fun to do. by side I guess it was a company called side hmm. yeah it's side London Studios the music of course is wonderful right? the music for space moon is great So much goes into making games these days, so many people. Again, it is a really big industry, as I understand. One of the bi biggest industries nowadays, actually. Lots of animators right there. And they have QA and localization, of course. Because this has obviously been translated to other places, I believe. Of course, now they quote THQ, the original THQ. Because this was actually made back when THQ was still a big company. Of course, they are back, but... Back then, Relic was actually under THQ, not Sega. That's how old this game is, in case you're wondering. So it's also crediting the THQ people from back then. I'll mention it matter. Crediting them. That's how you have it. Crediting them. financing group. So many people have to be credited. It always shocks me every time I see it. And I fear much of the video is just going to be credits because of that. Which is not something I am... Um, I think it's a good idea, but I, I think it's important that the people who contribute to making these games in some capacity are credited. I feel that, I feel that's very important for transparency. Lots of testers. But like, if, if you watch this far, in the comments, do you really think I should keep the um, keep the credits in when I finish a game, or should I not? I would quite like some honest opinions on that. 
Because I, I personally, it's a personal opinion of mine that I feel that credits are important because it means that we get to uh, know the names of the people who did work on the, these projects. And I feel these projects are important to you know be credited for. Because this is an older game at this point. Much older game. Most of this is just Q&A. Customer service, obviously. It's also important. Lots of outsourcing. Well, they also had a quality assurance, of course. Quality assurance is very important uh, in gaming. It's unfortunately not too many things actually you do on sometimes, and I've myself been disappointed. HP Enterprise, really? Man, the credits just keep rolling! Like, sometimes the credits gets real, real long. So many people work on these. Huh. I have a mouse. E. I think that's why some people make the uh, credits also interactive. Unfortunately, this is not. But I think a more interactive credits would probably be a cool thing, so... Especially for people like me who record, because then you actually have something to do when you're on the credits. Right, th this was released back when people still bought um, hard copies. So that's why they had a manual too. That was like they, they had a guy to make a manual. Oh my god, a person to make a manual. I didn't see the name fully. I was focusing on my mouse. I remember those. Remember when you had hard copies back in the day? Oh yeah, that's a good message to keep at the end. That's a good message to end off with. I think that was the credits. Yeah. This was Space Marine. I will see you all in the future, everyone. Bye-bye.